Today, we explore five intriguing news spanning diverse fields of scientific research, from quantum computing to astrophysics, geology, and material science. Our voyage commences with an exciting leap into the world of quantum computing. At the Argonne National Laboratory, scientists have pioneered a groundbreaking approach to harness spinning electrons as quantum bits or qubits within a novel nanomaterial. The significance lies in their achievement of record-breaking long coherence times, a pivotal property for practical qubits. But wait a second, what is quantum coherence? Well, it is a bit like keeping all your ducks in a row, but in the world of tiny particles like atoms and electrons, imagine you have a group of friends and you want them to march together in a straight line. When they do, that's like having quantum coherence. These findings have the potential to revolutionize computing, accelerate drug discovery, and establish impregnable networks. From the quantum realm, we direct our gaze towards the cosmos itself. In Australia, astrophysicists have unveiled insights into the universe's state 13 billion years ago by scrutinizing the density of carbon in the gases enveloping ancient galaxies. And here, can't remember what I had for lunch. Make sure to subscribe to never miss any episode. It will add value to your knowledge. Anyway, their revelations offer another fragment in the puzzle of the universe's history, as they identify a swift five-fold surge in warm carbon over a mere 300 million years, a mere blink in the vast expanse of cosmic time. Yes, you heard it correctly. Despite being five times the years past since the dinosaur extinction, for the universe, the scale it is in may, it just passed. Our journey then takes us on a subterranean odyssey venturing beneath the icy shroud of the East Antarctica Ice Sheet. Here, a trove of ancient rocks collected from glacial moraines has unveiled the deep-seated secrets of a remote and largely unexplored terrain. For 14 million years, these hidden landscapes, concealed beneath miles of ice, have perplexed scientists. Through innovative rock sampling and radiometric dating, they now trace the region's history over the past half billion years, gradually solving the enigma of the Gombertsev subglacial mountain's origin. But what is this puzzle all about? All right, imagine you're on a treasure hunt in Antarctica and you stumble upon a mysterious range of underwater mountains called the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains. These mountains are hidden beneath a massive layer of ice and scientists are trying to figure out how they got there. Now, here's the enigma part. These mountains are not like regular mountains that form from the collision of Earth's tectonic plates. Instead, they seem to have a unique origin story. It's a bit like solving a puzzle. Scientists think that millions of years ago when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, these mountains might have formed in a completely different way. One idea is that these mountains could be remnants of a super-ancient continent. Another theory is that they might have formed when hot rocks deep below the Earth's surface pushed up and created these underwater peaks. But because they are hidden under miles of ice, it's like trying to solve a mystery without all the clues. Scientists are using special equipment and techniques to learn more about these hidden mountains, like detectives searching for clues. From the depths of our planet, we ascend to the celestial realm of astronomy. Astronomers, using data from the Spectre RG spacecraft and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, have stumbled upon a magnetic cataclysmic variable, SRGEJ0-75818-612027. I really, really hate the naming system. This newfound object, likely belonging to the polar subtype, displays a robust magnetic field within its white dwarf. This discovery extends our understanding of cataclysmic variables and the forces shaping their magnetic character. Now, we immerse ourselves in the intriguing realm of materials, science, and sustainable energy. Researchers have unveiled a groundbreaking camera with an exceptionally swift shutter speed. Shutter is like a magical door in a camera that opens and closes really quickly. Imagine it's your eyes blinking. When the door, in this case, the shutter opens, it lets in light to create a picture. The time the door stays open is the shutter speed. A fast shutter speed is like a super quick blink, freezing action like a superhero in a comic. A slow shutter speed is like a longer, dreamy blink, capturing movement like a flowing river. So, photographers use shutter speed to control how much light comes in and whether they want to freeze action or make things look all dreamy and blurry in their photos. Returning to the news, this camera captures the dynamic disorder within materials, a fundamental aspect of sustainable energy applications, such as converting sunlight or waste heat to electricity. This innovative method employs neutrons from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory to measure atomic positions with a shutter open time of about one picosecond, equivalent to a trillion times faster than conventional cameras. Things will look crazy slow in these cameras. 
Join us in the next weekly episode of the Science Bulletin series called The Spectral Bites. See you next Monday.